I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the Early When I Sixty Fifth Study and Prayer Line and on Facebook Live on this 23rd day in August 2018. Let's dive on in, y'all. Um, let's get it in. Um, thanks for chiming in. Quote Rita B. See you on Facebook Live. Uh, who's that? Janetta? Janetta, what's up, young lady? Thanks for chiming in. Nicole. Ray. Y'all falling on in this morning. Look, uh, let's go to Matthew 6. Mix it up this morning. It's all relevant. Miss Baca. Uh, Ray. Hit your share buttons, y'all. Tim, happy birthday to you. Tell Roddy Bo not to blind your eyes with all that flashy stuff, man. He was a DJ back at uh, in the NCL days. Tell him to calm that down. <laughs> uh, Matthew's the sixth chapter, y'all. Let's get it in. Uh, Matthew 6. Flashing and all that, man. Big shine. Um, Matthew 6, uh, and let's start at, uh, let's start at, uh, mute your phone, uh, who is that, mother? Yeah, yeah, mute your phone, mother. Matthew 6. Thank you. <clears throat> um, Matthew's, uh, Six. Look at it. Six and six. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Okay, let's start there. Look. Um. Prayer is an intimate you know, relationship with the most high. It's just like what having a, a best friend that you stay in communication with. And so, um, the word teaches like pray without ceasing. And the way that one normally pray, you'd have to cease. You can't be on your knees all day. You got to get up and go be productive. There's things to do. And so when the word implies pray without ceasing, there's a constant contact, a constant communication uh, between you and the Most High. You should be praying always, always, um, you know, praise Him and lift Him up, singing melodies in your heart. Um, uh, a lot of your relationship with Him, people don't even know you guys are in, in contact like that. Uh, trenda, trenda, shalom. <clears throat> and so, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy th thy closet. That's talking about a, that's not talking about a physical closet. Talking about in, in your heart. Um, Miss Jackson, and so um, you're in your heart. You you shut the door, and that's reiterate privacy. You're not trying to front. You're not trying to be religious and impress people with your relationship with the Most High. You have a relationship. You're in constant contact. You're at the throne of unmerited favor with boldness, making your petitions known that you might obtain mercy and find unmerited favor to help in the time of need because we be needing him. If you plan to live this life and start passing your tests, you're going to have to be in constant contact with the Most High. Bottom line. Because if you lose that contact, good morning, uh, uh, Sister Don, or Colt Don. But if you plan to pass your test, you're going to have to stay in contact with headquarters. And that's just the truth. You know, um, enter to your secret closet, you know, you know, shut the door. And, and, and the Most High will see in secret. In other words, he'll see you're not trying to front. You're not trying to be religious. 
you're really like saying, help me. You know, I need you. Help me. Help me. I, I need I, I need your I need your power. I need the power of your Ruach HaKadah. I need your favor. Help me. And he's going to reward you openly. He's he not going to hide it. Folks is going to see the benefit in your attitude, in your growth. Christy, thanks for chiming in. Seven verse. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. You know how certain religions have you chant and stuff? Those are vain repetition. Ain't no relationship in that. That's all ritualistic uh, mess. How would you like your children to come up to you? Uh, daddy, 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 daddy. You, what? <laughs> oh, chanting. Come on, y'all. But, but when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. They're reading the script. Your children come out of the room reading the script that they memorize. If you don't quit repeating yourself to me and go do something with yourself, you should have a relationship, right? Uh, but when you pray, use not vain repetition as the heathen do, for they think they shall be heard of their much speaking. R repetition is not saying don't repeat yourself per se, but it's vain repetition and it's just a ritual. That don't, that is not the type of relationship the Most High is trying to develop with his children. Just the bottom line. He's, de he's developing a true relationship. He is really our Heavenly Father, and we really do need him, and we really got real stuff going on that we need to be going to the throne of unmerited favor for, talking to him about it, getting encouragement from him, allowing him to comfort us. And we're casting our cares upon him, knowing that he cares. We should be talking with the Most High continuously. Helping us when we're, when we're tempted. So all this vain repetition, right? Be not ye therefore like unto them. Your Father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask. Right? After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father... After this manner, therefore pray ye. Look what it say. Now, we finna go through this prayer, but I want you to remember, he just said, don't use vain repetition. Did you know that this prayer is like a blueprint that is not to be memorized and quoted back? Because that would make it a vain repetition. It's, it's vanity. It's not a heartfelt uh, uh, secret closet prayer. If you, if you quote it verbatim like a lot of people do. We got to get out of this religious state of mind and start in all our getting, get an understanding. This is like uh, a, a, a format of how to pray, right? In other words, in this matter, pray ye. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It's, it don't, it's not saying say that. It's saying that acknowledge your Father which is in heaven. And, and bless his name. Exalt his name. His name is above every name. And at his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. And it's good to do study so you can find out what his real name is. And not be offended because you was raised using the wrong name. That's not the opportunity to be offended, James. What's up with it? That's not your opportunity to become offended. That is your opportunity to, to celebrate more truth. But knowing that his name is, is hallowed, it's, it's Kadesh, it's, it's, it's holy. So you acknowledge the Father which is in heaven, admitting that his name is above every name, and that his name every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. There's no greater name not in, in this world, neither the world to come. And then, and then thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. See, not you, you start off the prayer acknowledging him, right? And his greatness, his majesty, like you would approach a king. You 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 take your shoes off. He told, he told, he told Mose, they call him Moses, take your shoes off. 
For where you're standing is, is Kadesh ground, holy ground. It's respect. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. You gave him respect and you want his, his, his kingdom to be established on earth. You want his will to be done. You want, you want an end to this foolishness, to this wickedness. You want an end to sin. You, you, you're tired of it. You're, you're hungering and thirsting for righteousness. He promised you shall be filled. You're bringing it to him. You're respecting him when you come. And then your first priority. That's why the, the word teaches, first seek the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness and all this other stuff will be added on to you. We, 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 we should learn to operate in selflessness and quit coming at him when it's all about us. You could, the, the works of the flesh, you can tell when you're dealing with a carnal believer, right? Carnal believers are about themselves and they move like that. They, they even give like that. They, 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 they worship like that. It's more about them. The more a person get to know uh, our Heavenly Father, the less it is about them because they begin to realize he got them. He saved you. He wrote your name in the last book of life. And if you first seek the kingdom of Yah and his stuff, all that other stuff will be added, meaning he got you. He wants you to learn how to be selfless like he was when he saw our faults. Uh, he overlooked our faults and saw our needs. He came down 42 generations, could have destroyed mankind because by, by every right he had the right to. But instead of destroying all of mankind, he came down to redeem and rescue. He can't deny himself. He has to judge evil. But he became a participant of his creation to rescue his creation as opposed to just destroying all of us and say, I'll start over. So we need to learn how to be like him and, and walk in selflessness. With a revelation, he got you. You can't do you better than he can. Forget, forget you. Learn to support the things of Yah. First, <laughs> uh, some folks, ooh. come on, y'all first. First seek ye the kingdom of Yah and his right. There's all this other stuff be added. Do you believe that? Well, it's true. After this manner, therefore, ye pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, you've given him his respect and his props, right? Uh, hallowed be thy name. His name is above every name, right? Thy kingdom come. That's a governmental structure, his rule. You want things to be done his way. On earth as it is in heaven. You want him to be established on earth as it is in heaven. Bring new Jerusalem down. Thy kingdom come. Okay, we have, we starting to have a bad connection, y'all. It look like we is. I hope, let me get through this lesson. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Now see, after... Uh, approaching and respecting him, it, it, giving praise and honor to his name, praying that his will be done on earth as it is in heaven, then we get to us because we first seek you the kingdom. This is a blueprint of how we should be thinking. You don't wake up in the morning, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. You would do more for your children if they was more grateful, wouldn't you? If, oh, I love you, mama. I love you, daddy. You are the best. I am so blessed. I see how hard you work and how, how much you love us. You are wonderful. Is there anything I can do? Oh, yeah, I, I should have cleaned my room, huh? Let me go clean my room. Okay, I'm finished. Uh, will you take me to the park? Heck yeah. Twice. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> as fast as I can get you to the park. Beverly, thanks for chiming in. Look here. And what would you like to eat dinner? You are the best. Feel me? Same thing with the most high. Thy kingdom come. I want your, what, 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 what are we doing? Are we witnessing? We, we, what, we finna buy blankets? It's finna start raining? Can I support? Let me, let me, let me at least give... 10% or something. What can I do? What can I do to help? Dave, good chiming in. But what, what can I do to, to support ministry, to support your kingdom? Thy will be done. 
on earth as it is in heaven. I want, I want your will to be done, not mine. Because if it's mine, it's going to be all about me. I want to be like you, selfless. Came down 42 generations, robe yourself as a man to live the perfect example to die on the tree for some people that wouldn't even appreciate it. Came onto his own and his own is hollering, crucify him, kill him, let his blood be upon us and our children. He still did it anyway. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He was in constant contact like he's teaching us with the Most High. And his constant contact was, forgive them. Look, they, they lost their mind. I've come here to, to rescue them to, and they, and they spitting, spitting on me. Forgive them. They're carnal. You got some people that's carnal like you used to be. You used to be carnal. People tell you about the Most High. You didn't want to hear it. You wanted to do you. You should have a state of mind. Forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now we get to ourselves. Give us this day our daily bread. This is not to be repeated as repetition. This is the blueprint of how to approach the throne. You want to come to the throne of grace with boldness to make your petitions known? This is how you do it. You first reverence him. Quit begging when you first come. First thing you do is begging and me, me, me. No. Him, 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 him. Because if we, if we, if we put him first... All this other stuff is good. He, gonna, he got you. Believe it. Give us this day our daily bread. And look what we say. And forgive us our debts. Well, I don't want to sin against you. I, I, I don't want to go against you. And if I did, I apologize. Forgive me for my wrong. As we forgive our debtors. We're not running around here holding grudges. Keeping score. How are you going to keep... How are you going to hold a grudge... Uh, 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 about something someone did to you that you did somebody else. You can't pretend you ain't did nothing wrong to nobody now. You don't play that game. You, 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 you've been wrong, and when we get saved and have a true relationship with him, and we stay in constant contact, we know we've been wrong. His Kadesh, his so-called holiness, will reveal our shortcomings to us. That we still need to grow. We should be walking in perfection. You ain't going to slip me into preaching false doctrine. And walking in perfection is doing what you know to do good. The word teaches to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not. To him it is sin. What he reveals unto you, you're responsible for it. And you can be obedient to it. And you got to know your flesh might not want to do it. Nine times out of ten, your flesh is not going to want to to cooperate with what he revealed to you. That's why the word teaches he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. There's going to be some things that you want to do and want to say, but you can't say it or do it because it goes against what he told you. So we're walking in perfection. We're doing everything we know to do. And when we approach him, he's still going to be revealing to us where we can come up and get better. I'm doing what I know to do, but it's always improvement, always growth. We will never be able to say we arrived until we get the heck up out of here. That don't mean I'm sinning. That don't mean I'm going against him in the interim. No, no, uh, uh, uh. Even those things is pulling on you. We be praying that they stop pulling on us. That they don't have that much effect on us. You got a short temper. You need to pray harder about that. And it has effect on you. But the word says, be angry and sin not. Because anger rests in the, the bosom of a fool. If you're always angry, then you need to pray about it. That don't mean you're giving in to the anger. You don't want, you're not giving in. And then he's going to settle you and strengthen you. After you have suffered a while, he's going to perfect you. But anyway, forgive us our debts. Forgive, forgive us for our shortcomings. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. Look. Don't. Look. Lead us not. He's not going to lead us into temptation anyway. <laughs> but our mind is supposed to be. Keep me from temptation. When we're dealing with him. Our state of mind is. If, if they're not good for me. Then don't. Uh, give me the mind not to hang with them. Lead me not into temptation. The enemy is after me. Protect me from him. Lead me not into temptation. 
but deliver me from evil. Don't lead me towards it, but deliver me. Is he going to deliver us from temptation? Yes. Is he going to deliver us from evil? Yes. But we, we need to think like that. He's given us his mind. Let this mind that was in the Mashiach be in you. That's what Philippians told us. You got to allow his thinking to become our thinking. I, I don't want to hang with them if it ain't cool. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. They headed to the club. I ain't going. I ain't going to the strip club with you. No, I'm not. I don't want to sit around talking about people. Deliver me from evil. Tell them don't even hit my phone, y'all. <laughs> I don't even want them to hit my phone with that. Now, if they want to repent, I'm with it. If you ready to change? Man, hit my phone. But if you own that dumb stuff, deliver. Look, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Look, now you back praising him again. You then went through a, bl a blueprint of approaching the throne. You came to the throne of grace with boldness, respecting and giving him honor, which is due his name. Being grateful that he went on a rescue mission, became our kinsman redeemer, came on our level. Yah is a spirit, and they had to worship him, worship him in spirit and truth. But he reduced himself and was and, and was and was and was born of a virgin, and the word became flesh. Born of a virgin, being found fashioned as a man to come on our level, humbled himself and became obedient uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, unto death. Even the death on that struos, on that tree. What they call the cross. Right? Came on our level. And we respect that. Giving him the props. Saying that your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now give us what we need. Give us our food and shelter and raiment. Now we can get down to the things we need. Give us, uh, uh, give us this day our daily bread. All this in this short little blueprint. Get, I, I need this. I need that. Another. Pray for them. Pray for her. Pray for him. Pray for me. Pray for my children. Spatch your angel protection about them. Keep them safe. Now we get into what we need. But first, we're seeking the kingdom. Look at the blueprint. First, we're seeking the kingdom and his righteousness, and all this other stuff will be added, all the protection and everything. If you look out for him, he definitely going to look out for you. You handle his business, he definitely going to handle yours. Perry, good morning, man. Brian, thanks for chiming in. See, we got that self-preservation. That stuff come from the devil. We need eternal life, and our creator is that eternal life. He is our eternal life, and he's the supplier of it. We lost it because we got to messing around with the devil, went into disobedience, messing around with the devil, and we lost eternal life. So the Mashiach came to give it back, and he was sent by the Most High. The Most High became a human being. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with Yah, key. The Word was Yah. And the same that was Yah, that Word, was made flesh. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Became a human being. And being found fashioned as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient unto death. The word led that human being, that body, that flesh that he became, that human being, that human being obeyed the word until he died on that tree, rose again, and then came back without the body as the pure word to be baptized inside of us. The words that I speak on your spirit and life, the Mashiach said. Yah is that spirit in Ephesians saying, ain't number one spirit. That one spirit, which is the word, is living inside of us, leading us, telling us, don't do that, don't do that, do this, do that. Leading and guiding us into all truth. And we need to let his will be done. The words, the, uh, we having problems with the connection, but I'm almost done, y'all. But 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 thy kingdom come, right? You want his word to be established on earth. Thy kingdom come. Uh, uh, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now give us this day our daily bread. Take care of us. Forgive us. Please forgive us. When we come up short, forgive us. And what we do, we're going to make up our mind. We ain't going to do it no more. Vanessa, thanks for chiming in. Forgive us our debts as we, you can't run around here thinking he's going to forgive you and you, and you and you holding grudges as scandalous as you is. You ain't got no elbow room to be looking at folks crazy. You ain't no better than nobody else. Folks, it's be off to the to the left too.
But you, 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 we, we, all have sinned and come short. All have sinned and come short. Forgive, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver me from wicked people and all that. Deliver me from evil. And now we back praise. And for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. The Kabbah. Forever. Amen. He started off praising him and giving him his reverence. You wanted his will to be done. Then you got to your personal needs last. And then you even wanted to walk circumspectly before him. You want to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do by him. And that you have a pure heart. You're not holding nothing against nobody else because you want them to be saved too. You want them to experience the same forgiveness and love that you experienced. You're not funny style. You want to jump and eat and then want everybody else to be hungry. No. You want them to get the love that he gave you. <laughs> forgive me as I forgive others. Right? Because the 14th verse say, For if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly father forgive you yours. If you do not forgive, you ain't gonna be forgiven. Why would you even expect to be forgiven? And you why would you want why would you expect to get something from Yah that you don't want to give to somebody else? That don't even make no sense. Vanessa. Why why would you think, forgive me, I'm sorry? Like that man that took the person that owed him, choked him out. I wonder did he know MMA? Because he choked him out now. Look, we ended the prayer in praise because we should always be praising and being appreciative of the Most High. Like what I taught last night, y'all. When you get the revelation of, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of his death, you start looking at people different and you'll learn how to treat people different. You'll learn how to be more of an encourager instead of a discourager. And that's what I want. I, I want to be, I want to be encourager. You can go on kicks to where is, you know, you're so determined to obey the most high in your expectation that everybody do it. But unfortunately, it don't work like that because people get caught up. They make mistakes. They make wrong turns. And if you see somebody overtaken in the fall, you with your spiritual going to restoration mode, restore such a one in spirit of meekness, considering our own self, at least to also be tempted because we ain't no better than nobody else. I am not preaching sin and I will not so when I preach please understand what I'm saying I am going to say it again walk in perfection to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him it is sin and in and, and, and Matthew 5 Matthew Yahoo 5 and 48 he said be perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect and I'd rather believe him than this lying church dispensation this, this error of this sinner saved by grace state of mind. No. Obey. Period. Period. But there's always room for improvement. And if any man sin, he have an advocate with the Father. It said if because you shouldn't. But if you do, apologize. He that covers sins will not prosper. But he that confess and forsake shall have mercy. You got to admit you're wrong when you're wrong. And then stop doing it. And then you receive mercy. This is all word, y'all. So, if you mess up, forgive me. As I forgive others. I'm not holding no grudge against nobody else. That, that's, that got the same like passions. That's fighting the same temptations. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I can't, uh-uh. I'm praying for you. Please make it. Please repent. Is there anything I can do? Any words of encouragement that can... What well, what can I do? I'm down. Forgive forgive me as I forgive those that even went against me. We love to pray for folks to go against somebody else. But we want we want to scream a uh, 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 brimstone and hellfire when they come against us. I can pray for them as long as they cussing you out. But as soon as they cuss me out, I'll touch not his anointed and do his prophet no harm. You a devil. And 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 God gonna get you. 
Come on, y'all, with all that old crazy stuff. If you was praying for them when they was cussing them out, continue to pray for them when they cuss you out. <laughs> uh, forgive us our debts. Forgive me when I do wrong as I forgive our debtors, meaning they cussed you out. <laughs> They ain't cuss nobody. No, they looking dead, looking dead at you and called you a whoopty whoop <laughs> to your face, to your holy face. <laughs> you prayer warrior, you prophet. Don't you die? You don't know who I am. Ah, he gonna get you. Go on with all that. Forgive us our wrongdoing as we forgive those that do wrong to us. And lead us not into temptation. I don't want to be tempted, y'all, nor do you. Lead us not into temptation. Uh, we're going to be tempted because of our evil nature, but we asking them, don't, you know, you know, direct our path. Lead me away from that stuff. Uh, but deliver us from evil. Deliver me from evil. G give me the victory over evil. Because I'm praising him. Because you're the kingdom. Woo! Not only is he the provider of the kingdom, but he is the kingdom. And the power. He gives us power. Because he is the power. <laughs> and the glory, the kabah. Forever. All man. When y'all pray, don't use that vain repetition. Don't memorize this prayer and be quoting it like you're doing something. Talk to him. Enter in your secret closet and have a real relationship with him. Out with religion, y'all. In to relationship. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for the gleaning quick sermonette this morning. We pray that the word was effective and true and that it fell down in the souls of your children speaking up an everlasting life. Give us this revelation and we'll obey it. For him to know it to do good and do it not to him it is sin. And we don't plan on sinning against you. And we're in celebration mode. And we pray this in the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. I pray that the word blessed y'all. I do. And if it did, it's super easy to go witnessing. Can I get more people to push share? Is that possible? If the lesson blessed you, I believe it did because you keep tuning back in. So if the lesson blessed you, would you share your platform with the Most High? First seek your kingdom, put his business over yours. For those of you that got a picture like this, you know, your back is showing you. A good message could go next to that. <laughs> I guess, right? But anyway, push share, y'all. Um, and <laughs> push the share button. And um, if you're looking for a good ministry to support and this ministry is blessing you, then, you know, you can support it. You can go to PayPal um, and put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. Um, yeah, DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com on, on PayPal. And so we'll see you. Um, and we're on the conference line, y'all. If y'all want to talk about the word, we love you. Chime on in at 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Thanks for hanging out. I absolutely love y'all. Um, yeah. I absolutely love y'all. Y'all be Baruch and, um, Barak Shalom. We're going to see if this thing going to let me leave today, y'all. It want me to stay. Hallelujah. Let's try again. This is funny. Hallelujah. Or two, let me do this for the conference line while I'm trying to do this, y'all.